Fuck yeah. You can put this up here. You put those there if you can maybe get a picture of them. Can you see these ones quite nicely? I'm just moving forward. Okay, alrighty, I'm in again. So, Jared, can you say again? Yeah, now I'm just uh, putting my, my earpiece in and uh, hopefully I can get a little bit closer to the microphone for everybody again. So I was just asking Patrick if he could see the, uh, the two bits of yeah, dung that I put here. <laughs> so just to show you the size difference and um, I'm hoping you guys at home will be able to recognise which one this one is. It's fairly recognisable, it's got some leaves in it here and uh, some bark but I just uh, wanted to show you a size difference for those of you who have never seen this before. Um, so I'm hoping guys are coming up with the right answer of elephant for this one. Um, with the bark and the leaves, it's something that you, you look for when looking at elephant dung. And the fact that it's just dropped on the road, uh, they don't communicate with the dung, uh, so that it's not really any point to make toilets. But uh, the real reason why I stopped was for this one here, this little one. And I just want to ask you folks at home what you think it might come from. So if we can maybe get some shout outs from the chat rooms or emails um, just to see what you guys think now i've got it just from in the road here and um, there's a couple of piles in the road but so uh, if you have a think about what we see in this area um, and i'll say just to show you the size difference so is there any any answers coming back as yet jared Aha, awesome. So we're not able to fool you today. This is awesome. So you guys are saying uh, impala dung, and that is that is what it is. Um, now, Blesbok, who we don't get here, looks very similar uh, to impala, but uh, Blesbok, as I say, you don't need to worry about it being here. But it tends to be a lot more longer and, and uh, thinner than the impala dung. But the Blesbok have a white face, and a uh, fairly white stomach, <clears throat> very, very dark back. Quite a beautiful antelope, but you find them more on the grassland. Uh, whereas here we have obviously the, the mixed grassland with the savannah. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we have the impala here, they eat the leaves, they eat the grass. Um, and again, if you're looking at dung or tracks, you try and think of what you might find in the area. So right away, I know I don't need to worry about blow spot being here because it's not the right habitat. But yes, Impala, it could have been Wildebeest, but it is a little bit small for Wildebeest. Obviously, a baby Wildebeest, possibly, but the trick with Wildebeest is that they stick together. Um, quite, quite often you get clumps uh, stuck together, and it does tend to be a little bit larger. You'd probably get the Wildebeest um, probably being that, that sort of size. Uh, so the right size for the Impala. Probably from a male, looks like there is the beginnings of a midden here quite possibly um, but again with impala males and with wildebeest males you'll get the toilets the middens and you quite often get especially the wildebeest with the gland in, in between the hoof he'll dig or pour the ground and then he'll sit in the midden roll around get the scent all over him as well and uh, that's sometimes you can actually smell it it's, it's quite strong so just to show you the size difference between the dungs and what you might see and uh, as I say, today you guys aren't fooled, so I'm glad to hear that. So I can put it in your mouth and spit it out? <laughs> it's a little bit too wet. If it was a bit drier, I would have done. <laughs> I have done it before. Unfortunately this one's just a little bit too wet with the, the moisture from the air. But I will do it, and I will do it on the air one day but uh, I have to find a lot drier dung. But, uh, Patrick will definitely have to come join me if I find some today. <laughs> but I will do it. 